In this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up your WordPress website in Hostinger. So this is pretty easy. So let me show you what you need to do. So first, once you're on Hostinger, make sure you've logged in to your account. And once you've logged in and you're on the dashboard, it should look something like this. Now, I'm zoomed in a little bit. So you might have some links here at the top. Now, you want to go ahead and click on websites. For me, I have to go to the three lines in the top right hand corner then i can click on websites now once you're inside of websites you're then going to have all of your websites which you've got on hostinger and you can see this is a wordpress website called knowledgebasedtutorials.com so i'm going to go ahead and click on manage and once you're on manage you will then be inside of your h panel now from here you need to scroll down and you need to go ahead and look for files and then go to backups now from here you've got a couple of options so you can go ahead and restore from a previous version or if you go here to file backups you can go ahead and download a backup so go ahead and click select it's then going to ask you to select or download backup data and you can download any backup from obviously any date and time I'm going to download the most recent one. Once I've got that selected, I can then go to next step. Now it's going to give me some options once it loads here. What I want to do is just check this box here and it will select all of these different folders. And from here, we can then scroll down and you can go ahead and click download all files. Then it's going to prepare that download and then it should then download to your computer. It's important to note this could take a couple of minutes. So just be patient here. So you can see now the backup has finished preparing. We can now click download backup. That will then download this zip file full of our website information. Now, what you will also want to do is go back to this backups page. So again, go to files, go to backups, and you might want to download this database backup as well. So go ahead and click select and then choose your database. So I'm going to choose this one and then show databases. And then you can obviously choose the date and then click download. Now, alternatively, if you want to restore it from a specific time or date, you can click restore, but we're just backing it up right now. So go ahead and click download and then download the database at the top, the most recent one. Now this has finished, we can click download backup. So now we've got these two files downloaded and we've essentially backed up our WordPress website manually. So that's how you do it. I hope that helps you out.